North Queensland Hindu community. Uh, we are from uh, Townsville. This is uh, a small group of Indians from a remote uh, village town in Australia. Uh, Townsville. It's called Townsville. Uh, it's in, in the state of Queensland. Um, that's where we are located on the Australia map. The top end, the beautiful place uh, next to the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, our vision was um, a, to build a local uh, Indian community, educational, cultural and spiritual center surrounded by supportive community. Uh, the vision was to have our own colony of um, uh, supporters of uh, Hindu culture around a temple. We started in 2006 as a core group of interested people. 2009 we registered the society. In 2011 December we purchased the land and in 2012 we hope to build a initial small temple. This is our executive committee in 2010, uh, very active members. Um, we have all the local Australians and uh, members representing uh, almost every nation where Hindus are there. Um, we, have, uh, we have been organizing activities, uh, puja, cultural and spiritual activities, Bhagavad Gita classes, yoga sessions. Uh, we do have um, very active member groups. Um, in 2009, we started uh, celebrating nine days of uh, Ganesha festival because uh, the uh, majority opinion was to build a Ganesha temple. Uh, we have now around um, 150 to 250 members. Uh, this is our newsletter we um, send out uh, regularly. Uh, where we uh, share the activities going on. Um, in 2011 we had uh, the blessings of a priest who is an uh, engineer who volunteered to be the priest and he, he knows uh, Dhiraj. Yeah, his name is Dhiraj. Uh, then in 2011 uh, we purchased the land um, this is um, just outskirts of Townsville. Um, this has a house um, and a shed. Actually, this is qu located quite um, reasonably near. This is the place where the Townsville CBD, the business district, and this is the place Douglas where uh, most of Indians live uh, because that's very near to the hospital and the university. And this is the place where we purchased the land. Um, this land um, is quite near. At present, uh, there is no direct uh, road, so the distance appears to be a bit more. That's about uh, 9.2 kilometers. But in future, when the uh, road is built, this straight road is built, it should be just about 4 kilometers from the highway. Uh, this is the Google Earth uh, view of the land purchased. 25 acres purchased through investors investing 50,000 each um, 15 members forming what we call Vinayaka Land Trust. This is the registered uh, trust and uh, we have three directors and this land has a big shed and a house, a farming land at present and um, the, the trust, Vinayaka Trust has donated three acres of land to Temple Society which is a charitable organization. People are the same but uh, legal entities are different. Now that's the land has been leased uh, to the North Queensland Hindu community because official uh, subdivision cannot happen now but whenever the our division happens then these three acres will be given uh, permanently uh, donated to the North Queensland Hindu community. That's our Temple Society. Uh, that is the suggested future permanent uh, place for the temple which is approximately three acres. The new temple land has a house, three bedroom uh, air conditioned house so that should be our initial location for priest, office, all the uh, cooking uh, activities, many things and even visiting guests. Um, and this has a big shed, uh, very big 18 meters by 8 meters with a 4 meter high roof. Uh, so we hope to build the temple in that shed. Uh, the shed we have uh, put in a lot of ideas. Many people have contributed their ideas and now we have 
finalized the structure uh, proposed plan with uh, extra rooms and uh, um, toilets so that's the place for the temple that's the uh, assembly hall or owning and then the, the toilets so this will be built uh, hopefully by before the end of this year now we have um, planned to start construction of the temple this is the design uh, given by the Stapati Purushottaman who has uh, built temples in Melbourne, uh, Sri Lanka, America and other countries. So he is an expert uh, temple Stapati and he has come and visited the land. He has advised that this is suitable and that is the place where the temple is going to come, the open space there. And that would approximately look like this, not exact but its the appearance would look like this and that idol is already here in Townsville uh, Ganesha idol from India from uh, made from black stone uh, 1.6 feet high now that's the floor plan for the shed uh, that would be the uh, first Vinayaka temple in Townsville not only Townsville it's in the whole stay, uh, region that is not the Queensland region the nearest place we have temple is in Brisbane which is 1200 kilometers now this is the floor plan uh, Vinayaka temple will come in the um, center, Ambal, Lingam, Murugan and uh, Vishnu uh, idols are planned uh, in that place and that's the idol of the Ganesha and that's where the Navagraha would come and uh, we also have uh, suggested deities not yet uh, finalized but uh, expression of interest we have asked public so Rama, Sita, Lakshmana, Hanuman, Lakshmi, Ambal, Vishnu, Venkatesh, Shaneshwar and Shivling. Depending on the interest and support by the community, we will have additional deities. Uh, so I presented this to the public um, recently, two months back. Uh, every month we are presenting this, uh, the progress of the project. Uh, uh, and uh, already many people have uh, come forward for sponsoring individual items. Now that is the appearance of the temple and the cost uh, for the main temple construction is $75,000 approximately. Uh, four people from India will be coming um, and they will be constructing this with uh, brick and cement. Um, this main temple will be contributed by the whole public, general public through sponsorship of individual bricks. So we have calculated 5,000 bricks and each brick costing $21 to raise this total sum of money and um, uh, we are now planning to go to the public for supporting so a lot of support is there then the main deity uh, the Vinayaka, tem uh, Vinayaka main deity the sponsorship would be $15,000 uh, Ambal and Devi Peetam uh, 2500 Lingam and uh, each idol 2500 already uh, all these idols have been already sponsored, uh, I think, except for Lingam. Navagraha also, yes. Now, that's the shed update costs. We hope to raise all this by sponsorship. Um, shed update, including uh, concrete slab, insulation, uh, air conditioning, etc., etc. The total cost we expect to be around $170,000 total. We do have a um, balance in the account of approximately 120000 um, but we hope to raise uh, most of this cost through sponsorship. So this will be the first temple in North Queensland. Now that's the uh, progress in the shed now. We have um, uh, removed the partition one side and we have put a concrete slab. Uh, the temple construction stapati and the team will be coming from India soon within two to three weeks and uh, the temple construction will start and after the construction we are going to close uh, the whole shed with similar uh, sim uh, this uh, metal sheeting and the person checking the quality of the concrete is our civil engineer Veno uh, who is supporting and he's also uh, one of the big supporters for the temple that would be the appearance from the back of the temple and um, this is our plan future proje projected plan so we are requesting public to sponsor any part of the temple and be part of Townsville history the first temple in the North Queensland of Australia this is our current executive committee um, I am Dr. Shashidhar I am um, currently the president but we are having a very active team and a big supportive community. 
uh, all of our uh, contacts you can through the email nqhc tsv uh, tsv for townsville at gmail.com and we also have a website www.nqhc.org.au most of our activities um, and videos are available on youtube uh, please just search for nqhc you will get all our videos more than um, uh, more than 50 to 100 uh, videos are there now already thank you in future we plan to build um, a bigger temple the priest is uh, planning to come uh, we have already got the details uh, this would be the appearance of the temple but actually this is the plan of uh, Brisbane temple uh, that would be the final plan this final uh, temple will come up in next five to ten years uh, that's just the appearance of uh, Brisbane temple which we hope our uh, temple would look similar with a shed and a small temple and that's all activities happening around the temple in Brisbane uh, we hope this similar uh, uh, activity will be in Townsville soon. Thank you.